Hey guys, it's Rusty from the Finnafam, and welcome back to my North Will Rise Again uh, Football Manager 2017 series uh, with Hansa Rostock. <clears throat> and uh, today we're gonna face off with Halle. Uh, in the Dritte League, but before that, I want to talk to you about a couple of things that are worth uh, the mention. So let's uh, jump right into it. Um, the one thing I actually have an issue with is that uh, my tactics. Uh, I can't find. Um, at the moment, I'm in the process of finding a tactical, you know, reach uh, for my team. That's with. Uh, I could be happy with uh, the 4 3 3, which I usually, you know, just slap on a team and it, it works in a very short period of time. Uh, I just don't have the tools for it. And actually, Hansel was the team to show it to me that I really, really need to have some solid building blocks on certain uh, positions to make that tactic work and I don't have it uh, because um, I don't have proper strikers uh, I don't have proper attacking midfielders uh, which actually makes it in a way that I can't really um, play this my 4-3-3 in a way I want and I, I can't uh, go uh, strikerless uh, because I don't have uh, the amount of mid attacking midfield. So I, I'm having a plethora of players in positions that I really don't need tactically. And I don't know if you have noticed that I am not a kind of manager that likes to chop and change and you know go with the flow. I'm more of a guy that I try to implement the way I want to play the game in every team and with Hansa uh, there's still work in progress and there's a good chance that I need to actually you know give the team the tactic that is more more, more comfortable to them to, uh, to, to for me and team to be able to get results and grow the team in, in the direction uh, of the football I want to play and which is always usually the case so yeah so there might be some alterations to this probably the most um, um, uh, plausible thing I probably do is that I drop one of these uh, central midfielders and you know switch them to have a player here or 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 I even go and play 4-4-2 uh, with you know pressing style so we will see in in the Halle game, or we just go with that and you know switch, switch uh, in in game because the fact is that we're actually defending pretty well. That's not the issue. The issue is that we're not uh, scoring, and that has actually dropped us to twelfth. As you can see, we're twelfth in the league, and the Halle we are uh, facing today is sixteenth, and it's away game. So uh, in in that sense, I'm I'm expecting uh, at least a point and as you can see we're, we're not doing that you know particularly bad I mean you know a couple wins the obvious uh, whacking by B uh, that was just we weren't in the races in that one then I played uh, nil nil with Mainz uh, and actually pretty pretty appalling loss to Vehen uh, one two at home but I'm kind of have reasons for that so let's go check my squad out and the issue here is that I am lacking um, Topias Yenike and Timo Gebhardt are, have been injured for uh, extended amount of games and I really really need these these good two guys to man my attacking midfield positions to actually get anything working and uh, yeah, and even though the you know the ratings doesn't show that much, but uh, at least Gebhardt is something I really need, and he's only coming back from an injury, so he won't be playing against Halle. So that will be a a bad thing, I guess. The other thing is that my strikers are, are doing squat; they can't they can't uh, they can't get get uh, things done. So that's that's a bad thing, but. Yeah, and uh, against uh, 
we uh, we just we just played poorly. A couple of guys who played really bad, and Jonas Nickel was basically single-handedly the culprit of both of their goals. But he's a young guy. I really want to, him to play and learn from the mistakes. So yeah. But uh, what I'm actually going to show you again that I, I probably haven't talked about my team that much uh, in, in these videos. I can't mention players, but. Uh, this could be a good time to actually show you some of the key guys that I'm really, really looking, looking for. As you can see, this looks funny because I got, um, I got a tactic to actually check out from my buddy uh, Guido from the Strikerless, and he has his uh, um, one one tactic, which uses the Libero, so uh, it's actually in my tactics here. So don't mind about this I was just checking it out out and see what it looks like but uh, that's something you're not gonna see in this say probably because I I'm not that you know hot into you know that stuff so I probably won't go there but the, the reason why this looks so funny is because I have that tag in there so I could check it out but yeah, but the guys really, which um, which I want you to actually have a look at is one of his Fabian Holdhaus, which I actually did mention uh, at the start of the series, is my fullback on the left side, 21 years old, and uh, he's played fairly well uh, in the league, and he's a fullback uh, in, a, in that sense, also a defensive fullback. He doesn't have that much, you know maybe attacking stats but his physicals are freaking amazing uh, to this level which i really like is his work rate and teamwork determination in the game and you know also aggressive bravery so he's really really good defensively and occasionally i try to push him up a little more to actually close the gaps uh, depending on what you know formations i'm facing so whole house is definitely one of the guys you want to see and these two guys I got from a uh, free transfer and you can actually if you pay attention and, and and actually I message him that you can actually see these guys on uh, Durf M's series about you know Kalzi's Gina where he manages um, the Reise and you can actually see these guys there Price Alderson Kim Zene play on his team uh, on the regular regional league um, the one below the Dritte league and they're doing really well there and as you can see they're not doing too bad in the Dritte Liga. so yeah this this and price alders is a canadian uh, midfielder box to box midfielder really like box to box midfielders um 22 uh, nothing special uh in terms of you know attributes but maybe fitness and to this level you say work rate teamwork you know aggression determination stuff like that it's really good on this level too and i also want to show you the Sene, the german uh, he's more like tutored as a defensive midfielder but i use him as central midfielder also I'm, I'm, you know a kind of like prospect here kind of good physicals but his stamina is like that's terrible <laughs> we're trying to work on that um well obviously team cap hard is our star uh 27 years old he's a star player uh playing on multiple positions winger is his best which i have used in really good physicals and you know aggression 16 bravery 14 uh, really good on that sense what, what i really would love him to have more teamwork but his work rate is 12 so he's really good in impressing game and i'm lacking that um you know immensely when he's not playing but he's coming back from injury so should be a good thing i really the issue like i said uh, i don't have you know strikers i mean he, he doesn't look you know too bad in, in that sense but his physicals are really letting him down and what i really really want striker to be one of my pressing uh uh tools and he's for instance zimmer uh can't do that so that's that's not and well uh, the other strikers the sofia benimina uh, he is more of a 
striker which I like to have in the sense of he uh, pressing and he's been injured the whole season so he's only came back uh, played a couple of games and I'm really looking forward to uh, you know put him in in there and maybe you know even more help us uh, in in the pressing style of football we, we are trying to create here here in Hansa so I think those are a couple of players I want to raise um, up and for you to see and obviously stats wise Olsen has been really good too so really guys you, you should look for but yeah but without you know going I don't want to you know drag this episode to be like uh, 30 minutes long so we just gonna jump and look the schedule and look the table and then just go straight into the game and you know being done with it and in, in a short and you know good fashion if you will but looking at the schedule it works really like um, you know that's the start of the series and it looks like a mixed bag of things because we, we don't have any sort of streaks here it's like win loss draw two wins loss draw loss draw win draw blue loss two wins it's it's really tells us that we haven't found um uh, we haven't found our, our own way yet and I'm really looking forward to that <laughs> this looks more of like a greenish a yellow thingy in the first season because my first season is usually always the, that I lay the groundwork and see what what sort of team I have and then just try to work work from there so this this looks not doesn't look something we can be happy with so yeah, so let's see the uh, the Dritte Liga, and Jemnic is still leading the league, and they're like rocking it at the moment because Bremen and Mainz can't even you know they can't even you know, promote here. So there's Osnabrück and Regensburg, so 25 points, and we got 20. So this is pretty you know pretty you know tight in, in, in sense. Of the middle section and you know maybe the top portion of the lower section which we are included at the moment 20 points the Bregansburg got 25 so that can switch around easily the only guys that are actually uh, having difficulties at the moment is Barbon which their slide has been like in recent years so yeah look not looking too great in, in that sense but hey let's drop into and start you know go and meet Halle and see what we're gonna do against them it's an away game so I'm hoping at least a draw okay for the match preview we're gonna see that my fellow Finnish uh, member uh, Timo Furuholm is away on internal duty with Finland so he won't be starting for Halle uh, today we can actually see if he's actually done any good no, <laughs> probably wouldn't help if he would have started it. But yes, good looking weather here and uh, pretty basic. Staffen Brutning giving 3.0 average of yellow cards every game. And yeah, Rico Schmidt is their trainer. And they played a lot of four in the back formations. So. Yeah, it's going to be a tough, tough match. And we are actually, uh, some of the guys are coming back to us. So I'm really looking forward to see some of the guys in the team. Because I've used a lot of Tuxar as a goalkeeper. But Shuchen is in, in the mix. So I'm just going to put him there. Even though his match, uh, Match fitness is not that great. Also, I'm taking a risk with Karabuche and Benaina because I want that. I want my you know team to have that certain oomph. So I'm taking a risk with them. So we will see what that will happen. Also, what I've included is Dimo Kephar is in the sub, is on the bench in this match. So we will see what it happen. We're gonna submit this team and go see some instructions. Okay, we're going to drop in some instructions, and what I want to do is put Siskovic, uh, Edimir, 
I'm a rosar on the wiki foot. I'm gonna put this guy on right, left, right, and left. Which is usually what I do with the uh, kind of close down the keeper also because I got the option option to do that. Uh, maybe I'm not gonna do much. I'm just gonna put these guys on the weak foot and let's have some team talk. We might be underdogs. But the fans will be expecting a certain level of commitment. And we are going to go calm this time. And everybody's just, yeah, whatever. And we're going to go defensive structured as always at the start of the game, at least in away games. So we're going to start the match. And it's on key, Van and Vets, Sane. I'm not going to pause it because I want you guys to have some replays. Yay. So what we're going to do is behind the goal that would be fun so this is the starting replay just they let's just play that Karbuchevsky, Maria, Sané, Karbuchevsky, Alderson, Hen, Karbuchevsky with the ball and loses it, Pfeffer, Aydemir, Osnikel to Maria, it's actually quite long, Sané, Alderson, Benaima to Sané and it's 1-0 and this was a bit of a surprise to me because it was the starting Highlight and let's see the highlight here. Ben Aimea, and it's a good pass. I mean, he's all alone, all alone there. And maybe it's something that Bratlow maybe he should have gotten. We don't know, but 1 0, and we will take it to the bank with us. So, waiting for the next Dominic Fennel getting a yellow card there. And this is actually the view I like to have. And for some reason, for this save, I can't put uh these because i can't show them all the song to alsvede to benaimina and that's two nil sofian benaimina it's uh he's really looking good uh i put him in in place uh for for this game and he's been injured the whole season and now he's coming back with a good fashion uh really really nice tuck in from the short corner and that's that's great and Hale is going with 4141, which is quite defensive to be honest. Uh, to play at home, which we don't mind because we don't have to switch anything, we just don't rock our defensive structure, and everything should be just fine. And looking at actually the stats of my team, they're looking really good. So, really looking, everything's looking great here. So yeah, I mean, things looking really, really good. Al Svede having a great game, Holt House. So these guys are having a lot of, a lot of impact on the game at the moment. And Kim Sané is he's be, being amazing. And Sophie and Ben Amina, I mean, one assist, one goal, looking really good. And we are pleased. I mean, we are pleased. I'm happy. I'm actually happy with the way the things are. So. And for me, the Vitrix is actually showing this on white. So, yeah. Seeing some Halle stats here. Um, Dominic Fennell, you see, he has completed all his passes. Hmm. Uh, Dyring is doing a lot of passing. Um, Shlishkovic. Uh, but, yeah, nothing nothing major. Uh, Rosa having uh, three crosses in. So, yeah, we're going to see here. So, uh, Fennell... Mm, maybe let's go see some opposition instructions and obviously we haven't done anything to fail that's why he's passing so much maybe we should just you know close down him for a bit and see what that does and they have switched formations as you can see which I love the I lo actually love the feature that you can have this in, in, in the you know view as the pitch, but for some reason, Vitrix doesn't want me to do that anymore because I, I needed to take that away once. I can't do anything about that. But yeah, they have switched formation for a bit, but that is something we are not concerned with. So we're just going to drop in, start the second half with the bust. Okay, so okay, we'll spend that. Benamina with the ball, plays it to Karabachevsky, loses the ball to Alderson. To Karbachevsky and he tries to find uh, the other winger there, but got, has no luck at all. 
the position just looks horrible for Halle. Okay, so 67th minute, so we, we really want to see some, you know, substitution because Stefan Vanevic is already at 68 and that's not a productive level of condition. And he has played the uh, deep line playmaker here. So we're going to switch in Stefanovic. He can play that also, so that won't be an issue. The one thing I probably want to do, Janos Nikil has played a great game. And uh, yeah, I actually not included a central defender. So lucky me being stupid again, because I have a plenty <clears throat> plenty of them so okay well I don't have that now so yeah so what we could do is uh, 67th minute do I want to give some playing time to Timo Gebhar yes we want to do give a bit of time here so he can already have some I'm just gonna put him on support so he can already have some uh, match fitness on this one so yeah we're just gonna drop in and play for a bit and maybe do the last sub here it's more of a tactical I think uh, Price Alderson I don't have a guy to replace him so I'm just gonna think something else here take uh, Holt House and put Christian Dorda there in his spot and just be done with it I got 10 minutes left in the game plus the extra time so it should be good and Halle is not doing anything in this game so really I, th I feel a really commanding performance from our Dean Torta with a throw to Maria to Benamina and that's full time from Ertes Sport Park so really really comfortable uh, result and really really comfortable performance I mean if you look Alsvidi 8.3 the whole defense 7.4 is the lowest Shuhan 7.1 really good Alderson maybe left something from the desire but he played his part uh, Vanevet 7.0 Kim Sane 8.0 Karbuchevsky 7.1 well Maria 6.9 mm. Sofia and Benamina absolutely amazing 8.1 and Stefanovic gave hard every every um, guy did his part and nobody faltered and it's really a good result I'm happy with it and, and, and I'm proud of your performance there so yeah that's a good thing now let's take a little glimpse on the stats before we end this so yeah Five shots, 11 on target, six on target. So that's not really great. They gave us a lot of space in possession. It's just oof. 68 and 32 fouls, 19, 12. So it kind of gives you the story. I mean, shots on target, they give us a little, too much space in their half. We really, really kept the ball. And that actually saw us to switch up to 10th position, uh, 23 points. So we're only three points behind uh fourth place mines so yeah looking looking uh looking promising so yes but yeah that's about it for today so uh if you did like this video please tap a like uh and uh, if you want to comment on something doing something wrong doing something right just put it in the comments every every comment is it's it's well appreciated i really like to answer to you know reasonable comments if you're just you know putting there that you're shit it doesn't you know help me or help you in any way so don't put comments like that I, I, i'm happily to answer in any reasonable comments so if if you like this please tap a like if you like my channel uh please subscribe subscribe to the channel and please go check out my content in the finfm.com which is the link is in the description is where I do my writing stuff on, on other things in Football Manager other than this Hansa Rostock YouTube series but yeah that's it uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys the next time